So card four is next. This is the push pull. So what is a push pull? A push pull basically um, we're pushing in this case um, to zero G's. So that's kind of the sensation of, well, you now watching this video, sitting wherever you are, standing, whatever you're doing, you're feeling one G, one times the gravitational force of earth pulling on you to keep you on earth, on the surface. Zero would G would almost feel like a floating sensation. Um, you might make, make it kind of feel like also like if you were falling just because again if you're sitting on a seat and you don't feel like you're sitting on it but now suddenly you're above your seat it might feel like you're falling but again it's kind of the sense of you're just floating um to then two g's two g's meaning again you're feeling one g two g would mean you feeling like you weight twice as much right now so the Easiest way that you might explain that feeling is like, let's assume you were laying on the floor completely flat. And if you had a twin, that twin of yours sitting or laying flat on top of you. And then now you have the sensation of feeling twice as heavy. So in that case, the aircraft, um, the glider will be coming flying straight. Um, the pilot might go push down to zero. So they're kind of countering that effect of the acceleration of earth pulling you down um, to match it so that now you're moving down at an acceleration that's equal to that of the earth pulling you so you'll get that sense of zero g's and then they will pitch up and pull until they go the opposite way so now you have to go against gravity pulling you down in that sense and accelerating at twice as much kind of going up so that sensation will be now like the aircraft is pushing you up and earth is pulling you down but that compression kind of feel is now it's making you feel like you're weighing twice as heavy so again aircraft is coming they'll dip down you'll read zero and then they'll push up and you'll feel twice as heavy that is the push pull in the glider for at least simulator 10 the dial on the ASK 29, 21 doesn't have an, a G uh, reading. In X-Plane, I believe 11 and on, it does. So what that dial looks like is similar to this one in the center, where, again, it's not this one, where here you will have zero Gs, one two three four and so on i forget what a kind of accuracy it has but you'll have that one line and again you'll i think you have like a 0.5 in between or something like that unfortunately i don't have it on the x plane 10 but that g and we'll show you on the glider the day of will indicate your g so you'll have like zero one two three four five six i believe and then on the negative side you'll have like negative one negative two and negative three and then it will be followed by you'll have like these two red lines on the glider dials uh, it's pretty much just telling you that's the maximum that the aircraft is allowed to do um so that's kind of your aircraft limits if you remember from your test cards you have a section that says glider flight limits uh, listed in the manual um but again you'll be using that center dial to kind of see what the gauge is so again in this case i don't have it so i put on the digital and i you see here i have my g load and normal is that sensation of up and down acceleration so that's the one we'll be looking at um you don't have to look at the other two so i will actually be using the digital to push down to zero and pull up to two g's now in level flight again that means flying straight and level you will feel one g sensation just like if you were sitting and standing on the ground because you're being pulled kind of down but you're still going straight so you still have that 1g feel going up and down normal to your body but again we're going to dip down make it zero pull up push to two if your pilot decides to reverse it just go up to two and down to zero that's fine again i'm executing it down to zero pull to two so test card four uh again we just did number card three 
I'll continue this and go from there. So again, if you remember, the pilot will be stabilized. And now I will ask the pilot uh, card four on deck, push pull, uh, FTE, uh, setup, push pull. Pilot will respond when they're ready on conditions. Oh, my bad. I <laughs> executed the maneuver quicker. Uh, let me stabilize again. So again, uh, getting back to straight on level. And the pilot might be okay, ready. And I'll say, okay, uh, again, card four, push pull. Um, I as the FTE will say set up, push pull. And when the pilot's ready, they'll say on conditions. And I will let them know to execute when ready. Again, here I need to look at the G and my starting altitude. So if I pause my screen and zoom in, I'm at 4,920. That's what I'll write. And you see I'm near that, so I'll write that. And now my my G, I'm gonna look up here. So again, that's one G right there. And I will start to execute the maneuver. So now that I know what my altitude is near it, uh, what my G is, which again, I'm reading it from my here, one G straight and level. I will have the confidence to let the pilot know. Copy, uh, clear to maneuver. And the pilot will be like, okay, pushing down. Okay, and maybe that's reading near zero and the pilot will decide to make that the push up. So again, if I have my ultimate, my G indicator, it probably be close to zero. So I would write zero. Again, my altitude, I am at 4,780. So I'll write down for my altitude. And now the pilot will pull up to two Gs. So that would be kind of quick. There we go. Pulling. Oh, and I uh, look at me. I actually put it to 3.3 Gs. Um, I did it too fast. <coughs> Excuse me. A pilot who is actually trained will probably not do that. Just for the sake of this, I will say that's what happened in real life. And I'll write three. Uh, I'll probably just write three G's because again, the indicator I think goes in increments of 0.5. So I would probably write three G's and I would write my altitude 4,680. So it seems like it was about a hundred feet that passed or so. I don't recall. Anyway, I will write those two numbers down. And again, once it's complete, oh, yep. <laughs> the pilot will come back to straight and level one G and say complete. And you as a flight test engineer will say copy test point complete. Now, again, let's assume that that went super fast. If you saw, I didn't actually capture any of that. Or for some reason I could say, um, can we please repeat that test point? I didn't capture a couple of information. And if the pilot says, Hey, there's time, then we'll do that. So let's assume I said, uh, pilot, can we please repeat that maneuver? And the pilot might be like, okay, uh, getting back on conditions. Copy. Okay. On conditions. And I again will read and say, okay, where are we at? We're at 4,000 exactly 4,800 feet in altitude indicated. And my speed doesn't really matter, but I'm curious. I'm at above 50. Great. Cause that's the minimum airspeed for this card. If you look at your card deck and again, G should be one G cause we're straight level. And now I'll zoom a little bit for my altitude in this case and again push to zero pull to two g's and i'm ready so i'll let the pilot know copy clear to maneuver and pilot will start to push down okay that's half let's keep going oh there we go zero g's so again it kind of looks scary because you're pretty much pointing almost down straight to the ground so again, that zero G's, my altitude is 4,600. So I would write that down. And honestly, for these cards, the more that I think about it and kind of tell you how to write these, I wouldn't, um, even though you do write need to write the G and the altitude, I personally would probably focus on the altitude. 
because that sensation of when he's pushing down and then or she pushing down and pulling up you'll feel it so you kind of will know i was around zero and two if you're able to look at both gauges immediately and write that down props to you if not you know stick to one be it the g or the altimeter and use the video after your flight to go back and capture the other number that you might have missed so again in this case we maneuver would continue and the pilot would then uh pull up i'll try to do it slower this time here we go two up i passed it so i read 2.5 g's and my altitude now is 4400 feet so i would write that down again in this case i'll say it was a test point complete and i'll let the pilot know so as they come back to level flight pilot might say complete and i say copy test point complete and that's how you would execute card four.